we are given a square base pyramid and we are asked to find the volume of this pyramid. So it is square based. So the base is a square with sides 8 meters each and also given is the height which is 12 meters. These are exactly what we need for a volume, right? The volume of any object that starts with some kind of a, a shape and ends in a point is base area times height divided by 3. And what is the base area? The base area is in this case the square of the the side of the square so that means we have one third times a is the side of the square so that's eight meters squared and the height is 12 meters so we get one third times 64 square meters times 12 meters which is 256 cubic meters okay now suppose we have another pyramid si similar to this one with base, bigger base, base 16 meters long. The question is, what is the volume of that pyramid? If two three-dimensional objects are similar, that means that every single length is proportional. So if the base went from 8 to 16, that means we, we're going to have to double the slant height, which would be the height of this uh, triangular face, or the height also doubles. So then everything doubles, and so the height is 24 meters. And then we have everything that we need for the volume. The volume of this bigger object is one-third times base area times height, where the base area is the square of 60 meters, and the height is 24 meters, which is 1 over 3 times 256 square meters times 24 meters, which is 2,048 cubic meters. Okay. Now the next question is, what happened to the volumes? We doubled all sides and the height, but what will happen to the volumes? So the big pyramid had a volume of 2,048 cubic meters, and the original had 256 cubic meters. And so when we divide 2,048 by 256, we get 8. If we multiply both sides by V1, we get So the big pyramid's volume is eight times the volume of the small pyramid. And that's not exactly an accident. This is because we doubled all sides and the height. Consider the first volume. It was one-third a squared h. And let's not worry about the numbers right now. Sometimes sticking with the letters is more revealing. So what happens if we take a similar one that is doubled? Well, the side will move up from a to 2a, and the height will change from h to 2h, right? So then the volume of this bigger pyramid would be 1 third times 2a squared times 2h, which is the same as 1 third times 4a squared, right? 2a times 2a times 2h. If we keep the 4 and the 2 separate and make an 8 out of it, this is the old volume, right? This, this is 8 v1. If you double an object, then the volume is going to multiply by 8. Suppose we triple the sides and the height, what happens then? Right, this would be a 3a, this would be 3h, so all together a 9 and a 3. 27 would pop out. So that is true, if you have an object and you triple every side, then you multiply the volume by 27. Kind of cool, isn't it? If you multiply every side by 10, the volume is going to be 1,000 fold. And that's not just about pyramids. Just think about it this way. Every volume is a product of three lengths. You can tell that by the units. And so if you have three lengths and you double each of them, that's a multiplier of eight. Anyway, remember that units are your friends. And thank you for watching.